Okay, so working with Infinium data. So Infinium is a platform that we use for genotyping. It's a it's a uh, basically a fixed array of SNPs that you select and um, that you can use for genotyping fairly inexpensively. And um, so this is just basically a platform from Illumina that you can use for genotyping. And it's the platform that uh, that we selected uh, for SoulCap for both uh, tomato and then also our potato project as well. So I talked about you know how to sequence, what part of the DNA we sequence, and then Heather and David have expanded on that, on how to use that data a little bit more. And I'm going to talk a bit more about how, you know, what the basis of the genotyping platform is, and and how we use the sequence at uh, at Illumina. Genome browser. I don't want to talk about any more so much, but I want to talk about the type of um, where the genome browser is a good way to look at where your SNPs come from. So you can actually look at markers and where they're highlighted. And what's nice about the genome browser, you can really add any information you want. You're not limited to what you see here. Um, you can add bands on or off, or they're clicking them on or off. And the programmer, if you want to say, I really want to see the genetic map across this high density genetic map, you can do that. And uh, Heather showed how you can just click things on and off. It's available. But what's, what I just highlighted, for examples, uh, of SNPs, so we had SNPs that are associated with ESTs, so basically gene models these these pointed areas. But and what we talked about also is that kind of the, the the bars represent the coatings of the exons in that. So you can have SNPs that are in introns in between the exons. You can have SNPs that are part of the exons. Um, so so those have a chance to be part uh, the coding sequence. They have a chance that they're actually the um, the cause of the change in the phenotype if they're in that, that exon sequence. Um, there's no chance that they're part of the uh, change of phenotype if it's in the intron. And if it's in the genomic DNA, unless it's in the promoter area, again, these are SNPs that can be linked to your trait, but they're likely not going to be the diagnostic, the, the reason um, that your trait is, um, I mean, the, exact, the reason that, that you have a difference in alleles. Exactly. So where your SNP is is important, and that's why Genome Browser and as things get, get more annotated, that we understand where the exons, the introns, the promoters are around the genes and the type of genes are, you just have more information to work with. 